Has your boss been okay with you finishing work early? Well, he has to be. Yeah, so it's pretty understanding. Uh, he went through something similar, so. Okay. Yeah. So, do do you get advice from him? Well, don't really like to talk to him too much, but um, you know, he's given me a couple of little okay ideas, yeah. but yeah. So it's good that he's understanding, though. Yeah. Yeah. So. So, um, how has your week been? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so. Yeah. It hasn't been too good. Okay. Yeah. So, another stressful one? Yeah, a few things have happened. Okay. Um, and we've done what you've asked. And oh, that's good. Wrote them down. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. All right, well, let's hear it. Um, so, the first one um, Billy refused to go to school. Um, Nathaniel was at work. Um, and I was kind of left to deal with it all. Um, the other one was um, there was a Facebook party. Um, I said no. Um, Nathaniel said to let it go for two hours. Uh, we argued about that. Um, and then um, the third one, um, she wanted to stay over a friend's house. Um, but I didn't want her to go and he wanted to be a bit lenient and let her go. Um, Just thought it'd be good for her. I, I mean, even though she's going through this period, I mean, uh, can't just restrict her from everything. And you know? I mean, she'll learn things on her, on her journey and yeah, just. Okay, know. yeah. Um, and at the very last one, um, she threatened to call the police on us. Oh, okay. So. Um, how, how did it lead to that? Um, we were just arguing, and um, oh, Billy got oh. Billy got pretty aggressive that night at her mother, and yeah. Obviously, I was yelling. Um, I would never touch her, but okay. I, I I was angry. Billy, come and clean your music room. No, I'm not doing it. All your stuff is on the floor. Just do it yourself. I said, come and clean. I'm not your slave, you can do it yourself. It'll only take you five minutes. No, what did I just say? I'm not doing it. Lose the attitude, Billy. Just stop asking, it's not gonna change my mind. I'll stop asking when you do it. Right. I was really angry and yeah. I was smashing dishes and whatever have you and um, yeah she just cracked it and said I'm, I'm gonna call the police okay really what is the worst the fights have ever gotten has she kicked the walls or slammed the door um, thrown a phone she's pulled your hair a few times oh she? she has so she has um, yeah had some violence yeah okay all right does Billy know that I am involved with you guys, that, that I'll be working with the family? Yeah. Yeah, how is she feeling about that? <laughs> Not really good. Mm -hmm. She doesn't think that's going to help. It's us that's got the issue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I've got the problem. It's all me. I need to be medicated. Um, oh, okay. You know, that. Yeah. it's all me. It's all me and him too, but I'm copying it a yeah. lot. Yeah. Yeah. So. I, I, I don't know where she came up with this medication. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, kids are pretty. Yeah. They come out. They come out with yeah. a few silly 
yeah, silly ideas. Yeah, but just so. try not to take it personally. <laughs> but I know that's really hard. It's probably yeah. easier said than done. So I'll work a bit with you, but I'm also going to be having a couple of sessions with her alone, yeah. just so I can just see where things yeah. are at yeah. with her, and she can I can engage with her, so she see, doesn't see me as a threatening person or a person who's just you know, into cause trouble for her. Mm -hmm. um, and then we might be able to do a family <laughs> session and, and um, yeah, so that's what I've got planned. But so do you want to tell me what the first incident was? Yeah, um, so uh, Billy was watching TV here um, and it was school morning, so I had breakfast already done for her. I asked her nicely, Billy, can you come get ready for school, have breakfast? Um, she didn't respond, she was just watching TV still. Um, so I walked over to her and I, I said, Billy, you've got to get ready for school. You've got to get out of your pajamas, go put your uniform on. She just looked at me, didn't say anything to me again, kept watching TV. Um, so I ripped the doona off her. I said, get up and go and get changed. Billy, are you ready for school? You got your uniform on? Come on, you've got to get ready for school. Let's go. No. Yes, you do. I want to go. Well, you have to go. No. Uh, what do you mean, no? You need to go to school. Let's go. I'm not going. You're going to school. Let's go. I don't want to go. What is wrong with you? Why do you got to be so mean to me? I hate you. Leave me alone. Nathaniel. If you've got a sec, I just need to talk to you. She's going at it again. She doesn't want to go to school. Ugh. Yeah, whatever. Call me later. Bye. I was trying to keep yeah, calm. Yeah. Um, and please understand, I, I understand how, how you would get very frustrated as yeah, a parent. So, yeah. we're, you know, I don't for one minute think that, you know, this is a calm yeah, moment. Yeah, but yeah. I, I was trying to yeah, stay calm. Yeah, yeah. Um, and um, then I, I said something to her and um, she just said, go away, I hate you. I wanted to cry yeah. and so I stopped. I just walked away um, and I just kind of fixed myself up and I rang Nathaniel okay. and um, he was at work and I was a bit angry because I didn't know how to control my emotions. I didn't know whether to cry, whether to, you know, smash a plate. I just yeah. didn't know what to do at this stage when she's just yeah. ignoring me. And then yeah. when she said, I hate you, that really It's, it's a very me. difficult situation. Yeah. It's really um, difficult. She's a travel counsellor. She's a travel counsellor. It got me even more angry when I tried to talk to him and he's like, oh, I can't talk right now, I'm at work. I'll deal with it when I come home. Just try relax, just try relax, just talk okay. to her. How do you talk to somebody when they've just told you to get out and I hate you and they're not moving from the couch, what am I supposed to do? Mm, okay. Nathaniel, what, what, how do you, are you feeling about what's been said? Oh, I know how it must, how she must feel. I mean, hearing that would be very hurtful, and um, unf unfortunately, my hands were tied. I, mm. I was um, dealing with some clients and stuff at work, and uh, I mean, I couldn't just get up and go. Uh, had a very busy schedule that day and I mean yeah I, I feel I feel terrible that I couldn't leave but mm. and I, I mean I don't want her to deal with this on her own I mean it's it's I think I was more hurt that I know he couldn't leave from work I wasn't asking for that but I was trying to explain to him what was actually happening because I don't think he realizes what is actually going on when it's just me and her. He's not a fly on the wall to really understand what is going on. And when I rang him, you know, you could have just said to your client, uh, look, my wife has just called, um, give me five minutes. I'll, I've just got to take this quick call. What are you doing? I'm just trying to find something. Like what? Uh, 
I just think that Billy might be stashing something, that's all. And I'm just trying to find it, if there is anything. Wouldn't it be best to talk to her about this? Well, instead of snooping around her gear? I feel as her mother, it is my duty to try and keep her safe. And if I think that there is something hidden, I think I'm allowed to go and have a look. I don't think this is the right thing to do. You don't think anything's right to do what I do it. What do you suggest? Talk to her? Yes. She's not going to lie to you. We need to talk to her. That's all we can do. We can't snoop. She doesn't know. This is her private stuff. <sighs> Who cares? If I don't find anything, well then, that's a good thing. And at least we don't have to get in confrontation with her. Just do it. Suss it out. If there's nothing, there's nothing. What, Which I hope there's nothing. And what if there is? Well, then we'll have to cross that bridge when it comes. I'm really starting to get a really good idea on, on what's happening. And I, I want you to know how common this story is. I, as you know, I go from house to house and I hear so many different stories. But this one here is actually a lot more common than what you think. So teenagers, you know, they're going through adolescence. They're kind of not babies anymore, but they're not adults. They're kind of in that awkward in-between stage. So it's actually quite natural for them. And it's, at, it's age appropriate for her to be challenging you. That's, even though it's normal, it doesn't mean that the behavior's okay. Oh well. Look, I'm sure she'll, she'll come home soon. Just don't worry about it, she will. I don't understand why she has to keep doing this all the time. Well, she would have a lot of resentment at the moment because the fact is you took her phone, you took something that, you know, is everything to her, unfortunately. So, what else was I supposed to do? I'm not going to hit her. Yeah, I know that. Right, so what else? I'm not saying, I'm not saying you taking her phone was a bad thing. Well, you kind of are. No, I'm not. I'm just saying that... This is this is the way the kids kids are. You take something away from them, then Jeez. look. I guarantee she's with a friend of hers. She'll come back. No, no question. She'll come back. I, I don't believe she'll disappear. That's not the point. I am tired of running around trying to find her after she just cracks it because something's not her way. I'm exhausted. And you, you're doing it again. Doing what? Ah, oh, she's gonna come home. I don't think she's gonna run off. You know, you took her phone off her. It's always like me, it's targeted at me. This is, this. she's like this because of me. That's not fair. Why don't you agree with me and say, you know what, you're right, I'm sick of this. Do you like running around trying to find her? How many times a week we've got to go through this and the stress? Yeah. Aren't you tired? And that's why parenting a teenager is very difficult because it's harder work at this point in time. And that's why you need to be very strong as parents, you need to work together. But can I just ask Nathaniel, um, when you were growing up, how did your parents deal with all this type of thing? Oh, well, uh, I was very fortunate. I um, had a pretty stress-free upbringing. So yeah, a lot different to, <laughs> So would you say this is kind of new to you then, if you've had a... Yeah, I, um, it's, it's not something that, yeah, 
I've been associated with right. <laughs> growing up. So yeah, okay. it is a, it's a, a lot different and a, yeah. a lot bigger challenge. Right, so, so Billy's behaviour, does it surprise you? Does it shock you if you oh, didn't do that as yeah, a kid? Yeah, I always, uh, always had that feeling of all oh, that growing up, you know, respecting and stuff. And right. When, when I hear a, a child talk back to their parents, I, it's just like, wow. <laughs> yeah, when a child talks back to you know, their parents, mm -hmm. it just like, shocked me. And, yeah, it's not something that... Yeah, I grew up with so right so does that kind of give you a bit of an idea on why Nathaniel may not be reacting the way you want him to react because maybe and you correct me if I'm wrong I don't want to speak for you but maybe maybe Nathaniel sincerely doesn't know how to respond he's not come this is new for him so he doesn't know what to do what to say so when that happens does that kind of feel that he's not yeah. supporting you. Y yeah, I yeah. just I feel like he's not understanding what's okay. going on right. like with me as yeah. well. So try to understand the intent behind it is not a bad one. It's not that he doesn't care. Is that right, Nathaniel? Totally. She's a travel counsellor. She's a travel counsellor. This is why the parenting plan, again, I keep talking about the parenting plan, why it's important, because then Nathaniel doesn't have to try and think on his feet and try to figure it out right at that moment of stress. And you won't have to be so anxious and angry because you guys know what you're going to be doing and how you're going to be handling it. But it's not just for you, it's also for Billy, because she's going to really be, be told that, hey, if these things happen, this is what's going to happen. And the important thing is, is that you're going to have to stick by it really strictly and don't bend the rules, not even once. Because the moment you do that, she gets the upper hand again and then she, feel, she feels she can do whatever she wants. And then you start arguing and you get upset again. But could I ask you, though, um, how was your upbringing? Um, I was, it was a strict household. So, you know, I wasn't allowed to do a lot of things. Right. Um, it was just, yeah, it was very strict. Okay. Yeah. So it's, it's, so basically we've got one extreme to another. Yeah. yeah. So does that give you a bit more background information on why you two are clashing? Yeah. And maybe why the parenting's not working? Because if you guys don't have it sorted out, she's not going to know what to do. And she's going to be making up her own rules, which sounds like she's been doing right now. Hmm. All right. So um, with adolescents, it's really normal for them to become very argumentative. It's very normal for them to appear self-centered. Do, do you find that everything revolves around yeah. her mm. and it's just what she wants and nothing else? Yeah. Um, do you find that she also finds it hard to put herself in other people's shoes? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. These are all normal behaviors for teenagers. Um, but as I said before, it's about training her on, on what's okay in the household and what's not okay. Nathaniel, um, your parents must have had something in place in the household for you kids to be easy breezy and respectful, as you said before, and not display these kind of behaviours. When you reflect back and really think hard about it, can you identify how your parents operated as a couple and, and as parents? I, I, know, I, mean, I know my parents were quite firm, uh, strict, but I think, I think it's more of the fact that I was, I had a soft heart and I guess I was afraid, you know, to play up and... Okay. Because what would happen if you played up? Oh, probably get the strap. <laughs> okay. But, okay, so whether that's right or wrong, the thing is, you knew as a kid, yes. if you played up, this was going to happen. Right now, Billy doesn't know. She doesn't know what the consequences are. You know, I was thinking about what Adele was saying today. 
we've got s such different ways of parenting. You know, you know what I'm like. I'm always trying to negotiate things. One of the worst bullying cases I've ever heard of so far. You know, I just want the best for her. And I just sometimes, you, ju you I just feel like you just don't get it. And, and when we're in the mix of things with her, you, you're not on the same page as me. You want to be, but you're not. Yeah. But the thing, one of the things that does worry me uh, is, look, we know you are very strict, right? But what worries me is like further down the track, I don't. I don't want her to be a pushover. Like, if she, if someone says do this, do this, do this, and she does it because of how strict everything was, I don't want her to be a pushover. You understand where I come from? I don't think it's going to be a pushover. There's a difference between being a parent and being somebody that's just going to tell her what to do. You can't think like that. We're, we're meant to be her parents, not her friends, and I keep saying that over and over to you. Being strict is not going to be... Uh, is anyone pushing me over? I was brought up strict. Well, you say we're parents, we're not, not her friend, but maybe, I don't know, maybe that's something that we need to be, just be a friend to her. I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss because I, I... I don't know, I'm the same as you, I don't know anymore. Obviously, we want the best for her. My thing is, is that I don't want her wandering around the streets. Totally. Okay. What do you mean, totally? I, I then don't when want... I tell her not to to come home, you start cracking it with me. Yeah, but... So what are you talking about? I think it's just the way you approach it. You're so hard at her. I am not you know, hard. That's what's probably pushing her away. The other day... I was in the kitchen making breakfast and I was calm, okay? She came and asked me a question. I say one thing and she cracks it because it's not what she wants to hear. Where is that being always angry all the time because of the way I say it? It's a bit unfair that you say that when half the time you're at work anyway. Really, what would you know? Yeah, it's a bit harsh. What do you want me to do? I just want you to try to see it from my point of view, just a little bit. You didn't go through what I went through. You didn't see what I see. I don't want her to go ever, ever go through what I went through. And yes, my parents were strict, sometimes a bit too strict. I don't think I'm being too strict. I wasn't allowed out at all, and this is how all that crap started, because I tried to, you know, escape out of the house for one night of fun and ended in a disaster. So forgive me if I'm a bit overprotective, but there's reasons behind it. I'm not saying to keep her locked up. That's not what I'm saying. She can go out. I don't want her out at, at night and not all the time. I want her to focus on school too. I'm happy to compromise, but you've got to just see where I'm coming from. In other words, this is just going to keep happening between us and it's just we're going to get angry with each other. I'll I'll do my best. Um, yeah. Just back me up a little bit. That's all I ask. If you think I'm being too hard on her, or you know, just pull me up. Not in front of her though. And I can go back and talk to her. All right, how, how about this? Um, yeah, if, if I think you are too hard, I'll pull you aside. We'll go somewhere away from her. And vice versa, if you feel that I need to get a little bit firmer, whatever, do the same, all right? Maybe that's something we can try. I mean, otherwise, yeah, as you said, we're just going to go in a circle. And when things keep going in the circle and the same problems arise, then something's not right. 
Sorry.